All right, hi everyone. So, the Zig's language server is kind of basic, um, and it's kind of annoying. So here, for example, let me comment this out. So we have something here that should not work at all. Should not work at all. Um, so we obviously we're creating a const i32. I'll just zoom in. We're creating a const i32, and then we're creating a pointer which is mutable and linking to that. And then just move and just changing the number. And the Zig language server is like, yep, yeah, fine. It's fine. Absolutely fine. But then, obviously, when you run the code, obviously, when we run the code, without this being stupid, uh, say we run the code, it gives you the error. We say, expected type i32 found const i32. So, why is the Zig language server not telling me this? Well, the Zig language server is trash, basically. It doesn't do any of this. It doesn't tell you stuff. It doesn't run. It basically does AST analysis, but doesn't do any semantic analysis. So it won't actually. So if you like, for example, what it will do is something like. So what it will do is something like this. So say if I create, let's go like this, A equals B, it will say, oh, undeclared, because that's found in the AST. It doesn't know. It will find, you know, undeclared stuff, but it won't do anything else. So while I'm making this video, I want to fix this. How am I going to fix this? So I was working on TypeGo, and I actually made my own language server in TypeGo, and I didn't think it was actually that hard to do, and I actually got it to find errors. And I was thinking, why doesn't Zig just do this? So I made and ported that language server over to Zig. All right, so I basically made my own language server for Zig, which is very, very basic, but all it does literally all it does is just find the main dot zig and then run that's what it does so it will just like it will look in the folders three deep three above this look for main dot zig and then run that that's all it's going to do so if i just save it look what happens error expect to type i32 found i32 like i'm one person I'm one person, and I've somehow fixed the Zig language server alone. What are you doing, Zig? What, what, how hard is it to do this? Just have it find the main Zig file and run it. That's all it does. Uh, I don't know if uh, if because the problem with this is it could conflict with ZLS. The problem with ZLS is actually good where you have like go to, so you can click here, go to. Get setting up go to will be a pain to do. But just calling zig run and then just showing the error message is actually very simple. So I'll probably find a way of having this do the diagnostics and have the ZLS do that. I have to find ways of doing it. Um, because this is just... <laughs> it's too useful. It's absolutely too useful. And the zig language server is so annoying because most of the time you say you have an error. The language server tells you nothing. So you have to spam the compiler over and over again. Spam the compiler. Okay, fix the error. Spam the compiler. Fix the error. Spam the... That's, that's basically the, the process when using Zig. Whereas this, it just tells you, ah, okay, so this should be a const pointer. I change it to const, and then it goes away. Oh, I can't set that. Okay, so we don't set that. We just leave, remove this line. And, oh, they're gone. Oh, we're not using this. Okay, we'll just do this equals pointer. And the errors are gone. It's like, oh, okay. How much quicker is this? What's wrong with you, Zig? Why can't we do this? <laughs> anyway, so I'm not sure what I'll do with this. I'll maybe find a way of releasing it in some way. Uh, but it's kind of embarrassing that a random person has done this on his own. Thanks for watching.